Hey everyone, I'm Ryan Garbett. And I'm Harry Zolnerchuk, and this is our ride along. Uh, we gotta discuss the uh, weather and road conditions and who's a better driver. Well, that depends, I guess, on, on how quick we need to get there. If we were late, I would say Garbs would be the driver. <laughs> If you're just gonna mosey along, we just let you go. <laughs> Where's your hometown, Garbs? Hometown, Winnipeg, Vegas of the North. <laughs> as far from Vegas. <laughs> hometown, Toronto. I guess we're known for the Blue Jays now. Batista's bat flip. Everyone jumped on that bandwagon again. I'm back on it. Me too. What sports did you participate in? Baseball, whatever I could get myself into. Whatever I had time for. Camera's not the best for summer sports, but. Baseball, what do you have, the softball league out there? In the peg? In the summers now. Get a little, little beer league going. You had a nice little baseball career when you were maybe 10 or 11 years old, didn't you? 12. 12. Little League World Series. Representing Canada. Hyde Park was buzzing, huh? My baseball career lasted about one year, that was it. I don't even know how I snuck onto that team. Did you think you're gonna be a major league baseball player after that? Oh. <laughs> no, I couldn't hit the ball. I was asked to bunt, I think, every time at the plate. Let me flip this interview around now. Looks like Will Ferrell. <laughs> video games or board games? Your video games all the way. Yeah, I'd say video games, like a little mix little Mario Kart in. Oh yeah, N64, now we're going way back. Yeah, go back old school. I'd be video games with you. This is what we talked about, the driving. <laughs> what do we got here? We got the 73 to the 55 to the 5 to the Pomona. <laughs> we don't even need Siri today. If you're not a professional hockey player, what would you be doing? Well, I think I'd be a professional golfer. I think I'd be pretty good at that. I think, I, I think I'd be with you on the golf. What about something in the real world? Do you want to be sitting in an office job? God, no. And put our brown degrees to work? That's what makes us work as hard as we do on the ice, huh? How about the carpool lane, flying? That's a first. I don't know if you count as an extra passenger or not. How did we get to know each other at Brown, Harry? What are the things that brought us together? I was a freshman. Garbs, you would have been a junior. So your last two years at Brown, you move into the hockey house. Garbs had the nice room right on the first floor right as you walk in on the left. And he kind of took me in under his wing there and let me crash in his room for most of that season. I'd really figured things out with college life. You know, I'd, the good study habits. It's good study habits. He, uh, he definitely wanted to be a part of that, I thought. I thought I'd take you under my wing and help you out. I don't think any of my study habits came from you, to be honest. What was the first impression of one another? Don't wake Garbs up before 10 o'clock. I just remember you on the ice being a little ball of fire out there. No one could stop you. So who is ball this kid? Fire. <laughs> uh, do you have any talents? Music, art, cooking, hobbies. My mother always told me I, I had good penmanship. And the last question would be, what would be the ultimate ending to a player's career? I think that's pretty easy at this point. I think that's kind of a tap in. Stanley Cup. Anyone wants to win the Stanley Cup, and especially to do it in California. All right, guys, well, thanks a lot for joining us on this, uh, the Ryan Garbett and Harry Z ride along. That's it for today. We gotta head in and a uh, little practice. The Harry's Only Chuck Show. <laughs> we'll see you guys later.